Well, in today's stock therapy, a new study shows that Pfizer's experimental pill for rheumatoid arthritis reduced pain and inflammation without unforeseen side effects. So what could this pill mean for the company's bottom line for Pfizer? I want to bring in our Bloomberg uh, Pharmaceuticals reporter, Shannon Pettipies, uh, for this answer. So what does it mean for them? Well, for Pfizer, this is very significant. They have had a lot of research setbacks over the past few years, as we've talked about here. Yes. And they haven't had a blockbuster drug since 2004 get approval, actually. So a lot of investors are watching this product, which could have $2 billion in annual sales, to see if we're starting to see some more life coming out of Pfizer's pipeline. So that's the significance for Pfizer, is that this could show that their research has turned a corner. For patients, it's significant because rheumatoid arthritis is a condition that affects about a million Americans a year. It's very costly. The current drugs, uh, Enbrel, Humira by Abbott Laboratories, they cost about $20,000 a year, and you have wow. to get injected with them. So this Pfizer product would likely be cheaper, and it's a pill, so it's just a pill that you have to take rather than going in for these painful injections. So it's a big population of patients, and this could really improve care for some of them. So that's kind of what's generating a lot of the excitement right, here. A lot more convenient and uh, you know less fearful of these needles then. Exactly, okay, yes. So how long has Pfizer been working on this drug? They've, well, they've been working on this for at least about a decade, and the early, decade. the early research, and this is quite interesting, it goes back to the bubble boy syndrome, if you remember that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Scientists started studying people with bubble boy syndrome to find out what caused their immune system to turn off so they couldn't fight colds and flus and other infections. And they found a mutation on an enzyme called JAK3. And they realized that if we could mimic this condition that we're seeing in bubble boy syndrome with this mutation in patients with an overactive immune system, such as rheumatoid arthritis or psoriasis, conditions where the immune system is attacking the joints, then they said maybe we can help improve these patients' conditions. Mm -hmm. And so that's what they did. So based off this concept, Pfizer has been doing this research to try and mimic what essentially we saw in bubble boy syndrome. Wow, that's fascinating. Yeah. Um, okay, you mentioned Embrel earlier. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's actually a drug that was acquired when Pfizer bought Wyeth, though, right? So yeah. it's kind of competing with its own drug. A little bit, exactly, yeah. Now, Pfizer splits the revenue with that uh, with um, uh, uh, Amgen, sorry, I was forgetting the name there. <laughs> they split the revenue with that for Amgen. So it will be a bit of competition there, but Pfizer says there are a lot of patients who don't benefit from Embrel and these other similar acting drugs like Humira by Abbott. So even though it is sort of competing with one of their drugs, they see a big market out here and a lot of unmet medical needs still. Um, and right. Americans spend about $12 billion on these rheumatoid arthritis treatments as it is. So it is a huge market. I think a lot of people don't realize that how rheumatoid arthritis is. is such a large market for drug makers. Right. Yeah. Okay, so how long before this drug gets to market then? Well, Pfizer's uh, releasing some results at a medical meeting this week from the last stage of testing. They're going to have more results in early 2011, and analysts are thinking that by the end of 2011, early 2012, we could see something on the market. And of course, that comes right as Pfizer's patent protection on Lipitor, their top seller, uh, with about 11 billion in sales that everyone's been watching for, seeing how the company is going to make up with some of that revenue. Right, so, so one of several drugs. Yeah. Pretty good timing for them, and yeah, it could help, not uh, fix the problem, but help there.